Hassan Keith, un pueblo de 11.000 años de antigüedad situado a orillas del río Tigris en el sureste de Turquía. Un lugar que cumple con seis de los ocho requisitos para convertirse en patrimonio de la humanidad. Sin embargo, el gobierno turco no lo ha solicitado a la UNESCO. En lugar de ello, planea construir la llamada presa de Ilisu, que en caso de llevarse a cabo, cubriría Hassan Kif completamente. Of uh, very good soil, good for farming. On the other hand, uh, the place is, um, you know, is very important with its endemic species, and it is very important to mention Tigris River is the only and the last remaining river in Turkey which does not have a dam on its main body. I feel bad if it work right and if I think you stay under the water. Yeah, we will have to move a different place. There is no, no nature, no river, no castle, and no our houses. Yeah, our life will change from uh, our mind. Every morning I will wake up and I will see which the Hassan gave sick sink under the water. I don't want to see that. You see the in front of the. Mountain, you Hasanke will building there, and all of Hasanke people will move there. The government will make a new houses there. You see the Raman mountains, it's with petrol. Entre 50 y 80 mil personas tendrían que ser reubicadas. Aunque el gobierno construiría nuevas viviendas, no lo haría de forma gratuita. Uh, most of people who live in Hasanke, they are very poor, very poorly. They don't have enough money. I think many of people they will leave, they will go to another city. Los motivos del gobierno turco son varios. Los principales son la producción de energía hidroeléctrica así como el desarrollo de la zona. In the area that you flood, the solar systems will probably produce more electricity than this dam, but this has not been studied. We are not against of the building dam, but we are against of this project will cover Hassan Cave. So we want Hassan Cave to be saved out. One of the other argument is, you know, bringing prosperity. They talk about the dam will be good for the area. They, they are talking about the, they will make jet ski. And we know the dam construction will take probably four or five years if they go ahead. Of course, then people will work by then and earn some money, then it is finished. The, it's not a factory that thousands of people work in a dam and you will end up with uh, thousands of people lost their home, lost their field, lost their cattle. Hassan Kev can believe it more than 1,000 years. But as we heard, I am not a professional about that, but as I heard, the dam maximum is 80 or 100 year life. After 100 years, who will come and will take Hassan Kev out again? Who? None. There is no logic behind it, but uh, there is a lot of money involved, of course. The Sudan project is a very old project. In the first uh, time they wanted to build in 1955. Can you imagine that 55 years ago they built that project and until now it's still going on, but they didn't finish it? Since 1950s, the dam is like a shade. So there's no investment on tourism, no investment on uh, you know nature tourism, no investment on museums. Let's many young people uh, moving another cities for working because there is really uh, nothing to do, not job. But if Hassan Kif will be saved from the dam and we can 
make it to live forever. Destroying a town like Hassan Kif only a enough good reason, you know, to be against this damn.